What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Great War mod. We are playing as Germany. Last episode we were trying to cut down into Italy here, uh, with the Austrians actually taking out Rome here in the center of the little peninsula there. We've also managed to wrap up Greece here, taking that back for the Ottomans, and then sending things, sending uh, troops back down here through Turkey which is awesome. Last episode, we also had a misclick here with the piecing out of Bulgaria. So we're going to have to re-annex Bulgaria. Um, I did not realize that I actually pieced out without taking the territory or annexing the country. And uh, at the time, thought it was a bug, which I got like massive hate for. But uh, that's okay. And then the other thing is we got to make sure we're not neglecting our African holdings down here. And so you can see... The Allies have pushed back here in South Africa pretty heavily. Um, I only have, let's see, eight divisions down here assigned to this. And so we're pretty much outnumbered here. So we're trying to defend this territory as best as possible. Um, I've also had the opportunity here to give Red Group some initial orders to reach a new offensive line. It looks like they've reached some of it here. Uh, we do want to continue pushing inwards, though, from there. And so I think it's time to actually delete this uh, offensive order there. And maybe... Well, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. We don't have enough troops down here to really make a difference. Um, we're just trying to, to defend the holdings that we do have. He's just telling me he's got nine divisions here, and he's pretty much... He does have an advantage, which is good. We could try to cut here through Belgium. Uh, we're getting attacked down here, which is to be expected, right? Um, <clears throat> the only way, I think, to actually deliver more troops is eventually take some um, superiority here from the Mediterranean and then try to deliver troops down this way into northern Africa and such, sort of re-simulating a Rommel move there. And then I did have... Where did my little, uh, here's my little holding, I think. Is that Portuguese or mine? Macau, that is Portuguese. Damn it. So I actually don't have any troops left over here in the Pacific. We had a little toehold somewhere, but uh, it was taken. Ah, yes, right here. So, yes, that going over to the British there, which is to be expected. And so we've got to sort of deal with that. But that's okay. Um... I think we're just going to go back to defensive measures here in Africa until we can actually, um, you know, get some additional divisions down from the Mediterranean, like we were saying earlier. So, in an effort to do that, uh, offensive line here, let's see what Red Group thinks about maybe heading south and meeting up with this other group of divisions here, eight divisions. Uh, offensive line, something like this. So coming from the north and the south there. Both showing as a red for the time being. We're going to let them sort of plan that out a little bit better, I think. All right. All right. And then meanwhile, up here in Europe, the raging, the raging fight continues. So we'll go ahead and unpause it here. Down to 1.2 million men at this point. I've got green group and yellow group trying to punch through over here. Showing as a red 90 so far. And you can see here is Bulgaria, again, justifying against the Ottomans. Um, I think Red Group eventually will be the ones to actually clear this up. And if we go to the Ottoman diplo diplomatic view here, Bulgaria... Oh, it's finishing up very soon. Very, very soon. So it is time to move in Red Group. 28 divisions. Let's spread you guys there all around their border. You're probably going to need a general here for this uh, for this this item. So we're going to go ahead and give you him. Um, although he's got extra divisions, so we need to take out four divisions somehow. To I'll take out some of these Austrian divisions. How about that? Three and four. And I can assign you guys there to... What should we do? Make them part of yellow group. Whoops, I assigned the whole freaking thing, didn't I? Whoops, whoops, whoops. So, uh, let's actually... 
try to reorganize this really quickly now. 72. So if I go like this, that did give some back at least. Make a new army group for you. Make you a general. You were red group. That's right. Red. There. All of these divisions we were trying to add in like this. And like this. Boom. Let's make sure that all of these guys are coming in. We're going to fill him up with a full 24 divisions. Like this. Uh, he needs to come in as well. Okay. So I think that looks fine for the time being. And then meanwhile, uh, pink group here is free from the action. 24 divisions. All right. The Bulgarian line there. Meanwhile, this smaller pink group of 16 divisions, you're going to be my new garrison force, right? Oh. Well, of course, we've had a breakout in the 13 seconds that uh, I moved my troops away. So pink group's uh, job is going to be to come down here and clear up this little invasion that we're seeing. And then, wow, they're trying to mount uh, massive more types of... God, more invasions here, more naval invasions that we're dealing with. We have started challenging out here in the Atlantic with the Eastern North Sea. So 46 friendly ships compared to 15 um, enemy ones there. And the Baltic is also ours with 40 friendly ships compared to zero enemy ships there. So we finally cleared that area out, which is good. Sinking a sub there. Uh, another American sub there. There we go. The Bulgarians have declared war now. So I need to give them a order. They're still moving into position. Um, offensive line is just going to be something like this. Just to push through the northern part of the country and get them to capitulate out pretty quickly there. So let's go ahead and tell them to make moves on that order. Yeah, you can see the Bulgarians now actually... Um... Come on, get in there. Why aren't these guys going up to their front line order, for example? Okay, they're headed in there now, so that's good. Call to arms from the Austrian Empire. Um, Austrian Empire wants our helps in their war efforts. Kingdom of Croatia. Oh, wait, that's our allies. Duh. Okay, we'll accept. Bulgaria, accept. Okay. So they're going to try to push forward there. I've got six divisions here now. Uh, we can actually probably start moving forward here. Mounting attacks there across the rest of the front, uh, including Austrian Empire is called Kingdom of Hungary in our ally again in the Second Bulgarian War there. Not sure why the wars were not merged there, but that's okay. And how are things going down here now? We're still trying to attack. The, Al the Entente continues to hold a pretty stout line right through there, but... Uh, I'm hoping the Austrians can continue eating up all of this territory here so we can eventually squeeze in the middle uh, there in Italy. Get them to capitulate out. Oh, good. And it looks like we've got some more Greek, Greek territory here down towards Athens. That's going to be a problem. So, a uh, small pink group here. Get on the line over this way, and we're going to try to roll through and take Athens back there pretty quickly. It does look like there's an Austrian division on the way to do that as well. And, uh, interestingly enough, a lot of our attacks here bogging down against the Bulgarians. Which, like I said, that's, uh, that I was not expecting that to happen. So, what we could do is then take Yellow Group here with 36 divisions, bring you back over to this line. Like this. And then delete your, uh, offensive line order this way. Because Green Group is going to have enough problems as it is trying to break through over this way. And they are experiencing a lot of attrition. Send volunteers from the Soviets. No thank you. They did end their non-aggression pact with us there. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yes, but they are also uh, sending volunteers here to the Central Powers in the meantime. So, Okay, nice. Infantry equipment level 3 is finished. So let's go ahead and upgrade those on the production lines here and here. Okay, that's going to bring us down to about 170 per day as far as production goes, but um, we need to start stocking them up as soon as possible. So, 
Let's see, we've also got a really long time for these other types of divisions. Let's go ahead, uh, I'm thinking about making a marine division and popping some of those out, right? Because we're gonna eventually wanna do that. We can also continue going down the mobile warfare doctrine here. So with delay like that, I think that makes sense to continue um, boosting up our existing divisions and such. So, 36 divisions now arriving over here on the Bulgarian front. Offensive line order is going to look something like this. So 36 divisions. We're going to need you guys to push through there eventually as soon as they can sort of heal up a little bit because that attrition is still pretty nasty everywhere you look. Uh, let's also move up this cav unit like this. We'll take two more calves and actually tell them to go up towards Varna here, capping that out. And yellow group, you guys go ahead because there's not much resistance on this side of the front anymore. Uh, this guy, make a run in towards Sophia there. So just adding additional attacks wherever I can. These 36 divisions now, um, or excuse me, nine, what are you guys, 67 divisions actually. Move that. Um, so all of these divisions here. Go ahead and mount an attack like this and see if you can bust through. It's only six enemy divisions, but again, there's not a lot of supply to go around through there. Let's double check on Africa here really quickly. And if we go to the Africa Corps, they're both telling me the plans are risky to execute these. We're getting attacked all along this front here now. Supplying ourselves there, hopefully. Um, does look like we're supplying pretty nicely. And showing his green, uh, red group here. Not much to do. We're just outnumbered. Oh, they've gotten in behind my territory here. Destroyer effort finishing up there. And he's actually out of supply, so he's going to roll through them pretty easily there. Time for a new national focus as well. So let's go here to free military factories, and I've got one extra. So we were making a lot of these new fighters and tactical bombers, so I'll continue supplementing that production like that. Total need of 579 now for the infantry equipment level 3, so it's going to take them a while to upgrade those as well. Two full lines, though, there. What's the support equipment stockpile look like? 6.2k. Okay, uh, new national focus now. And, hmm. Panzer effort, right? Chemical warfare, trench warfare. We've already gotten a bunch of those. Uh, it would probably make sense to continue going down the AVF, aviation effort stuff there. So we'll do that. And, yeah, the war will, with Bulgaria now opening up for us. Look at that, us taking Varna pretty easily. And, wow, okay. New guys trying to make it through now here, seeing a lot of green across the fronts, which is good to see. Red group over on this side continues to try and execute out. Let's add this guy in like this. Uh, you're gonna continue pushing up this way to try to cut off this one division that we're seeing up here. So green 75, 76 right there, which is good. Green 80 up here. Okay, nice. So we are continuing to push there. Down here now, and still showing his red, although we've got a Austrian division that sort of popped his way up through the center there. Good job, Austrian Division. Double checking on the air war now. And finally showing his yellow here in the Benelux region. Got 700 fighters sitting there. Can we increase that? 300? Oh, yes, we can. How many extra fighters do we have sitting around? 600. So 400 here. That's your max, right? But right here is where we wanted to try to add them. Yes. So I'm going to give you another 200 fighters there just to turn the tide of that over to green. Very good. And they're also continuing to plug in bombing runs and such here in Italy. 
306 enemy bombers that we're seeing there now, although I have 300 fighters in there trying to help out. Italy, 150 fighters compared to our 200. Uh, they're bringing that up to 300 now. And so, let's see if I need to actually increase somehow my investment of fighters down into there. I can add another 50. Okay, that'll at least put the uh, everything up to the limit here. Trying to turn the uh, Italy back there into a green-looking area. And good, uh, the Bulgarians are completely surrounded now. So Red Group continuing to try to attack here. And showing us a green 98 right here in this city of Plovdiv. Boom, got that one. They should be capitulating here any second. So we've got to redo that little war there. Meanwhile, we've got, okay, eight divisions here that are going to push through like this. Eight divisions like this. So making attacks there. Green group here still having issues. They're going, they're, they're attacking sort of randomly. Showing a red 78 right there. And that's what I would imagine is really burning up my manpower at this point. Is that attack across Constantinople there. Huh. Interesting stuff. Uh, you can see the Austrians now cutting down all the way here to the toe of the boot. Making a roll through here. Oh, an Ottoman tank division now coming in. So it's good to see the Ottomans actually producing out... Divisions now with three. Time to get a new research going as well. And so, 1922, the vaccination campaign here. That helps the recovery rate out. And so, thinking that's the way that we need to go there. We're also working on tank prototypes. So, we're going to eventually be able to produce something out there as well. How are we looking back here now? Oh, one sub downed there. Another sub... Yeah, massive amounts of Entente subs here that we're trying to get rid of. So what's the countdown here? 19, down to 19 ships now in that area. It does feel good to see at least a couple portions of green over here. Norwegian coast and North Sea there, 19 to 21 versus the English Channel, which is really stacked up there. Uh, free civilian factories. Okay, let's see if I can take Sophia. We don't have enough points to do that, right? So let's go ahead and pass. Take all states. Nice, okay. Pass, pass, pass. And I think we're actually done then, right? Okay. We took four states. So we hold Bulgaria now. That's good to see. That means red group here with 24 divisions. I'm actually going to stack you guys up on the front line of Romania here. Like that. Uh, yellow group here with 36 divisions. Actually, let's switch that order. These 24 divisions, you guys are going to garrison duty here along the, the coast of the Balkans and garrison area. So we'll go, whoops, something like this, Albania, down here in these portions. There we go. So that should guard the coastline there for us a little bit better than we're used to. And yellow group is actually what I wanted to use for the invasion of Romania here eventually. So we do need to start justifying war goals. We could roll into the Ukraine there as well eventually. Justify war goal, conquer on all of them, 195 days. And I guess the reason I'm doing all of that is to make sure that I pick up all of that territory when the war kicks off there. Uh, still showing as a red over here now near Constantinople. But again, the Ottomans actually producing out divisions now. They had three earlier. Okay, still showing as three there. New military factory available now. Still looking to upgrade a lot of artillery there. So I think uh, it makes most sense to plug this next one into the artillery production. Very good. 
and those tactical bombers that we're using to help out in the sea there we're making 1.6 of those per day so that's nice to see the Tyranian there enemy ships present 62 to 63 geez so I tell you what let's go ahead and add in where are you early bombers here 118 or so we'll throw you guys in like that and then they're gonna need some fighter support right so uh, let's see fighter threes we can add you guys in we've got a lot of these as well these other ones um, 200 like that okay I think that's good for now their job is going to be to try to challenge in the Adriatic there for naval supremacy, or at least sinking some of the enemy shipping that we're seeing, because the Austrians, I would imagine, are having a lot of trouble with convoys and such because of that situation. Okay, two more submarines were sunk there, so that's good. Air-wise, yep, still, we've got those um, additional 200 or so tactical bombers into the sea there. And let's double check. Uh, nothing out in the English Channel right now. And so let's put all of these early bombers out there. And he's going to need some fighters as well. So let's give him 100 there. Scale you back a little bit to the 200 mark. Set the limits. Okay, good. All right, so he challenge in the Adriatic here, and you're gonna go for naval strike, air superiority, very good. So that makes me feel good there. Low manpower, yes I know. Uh, ooh, free dockyards. So we've even got free dockyards after the submarine. Uh, so we want, we do want to keep producing out those submarines there. Free civilian factories now. Dang. Okay, so these slots are filled. Those slots are filled. We can continue producing out some military factories, I guess, just to keep them busy. Air base wise we are looking good there in the northern part of France. Um, let's build up some air base down here to challenge, um, you know, additional shipping in the Mediterranean there. new military factories and so let's go ahead and stand up another yeah there we go so filling out that early fighter production there let's go ahead and actually produce out another line of early bombers here okay very good bombing focus is done these uh, guys have arrived here so let's assign you in to straight whoa 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 Naval Strike and Air Superiority. Very good. Okay, we've also got another sub that we sank down there. Let's continue with the aviation efforts, right? And now we're actually missing some additional resource. So 13 oil and 3 wood. Buy some additional oil from the Soviets there. Wood, we'll buy that from the Soviets as well. Okay. So now we should have surpluses there. Very good. Missing equipment and production is the armored car. Coming up with the next tank research here, here very shortly. So tank prototype is about to be finished. I think light tank is sort of the way I want to go, at least for the time being. Panzer 1, Panzer 2 there coming in 1936 and such. All right, sweet. Now, what happened to the rest of these divisions? Okay, they're all still there, technically. So, it's still charging across over there towards Constantinople. Alright, and then these 16 divisions spread across here, looking pretty good. Eight divisions here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a combined attack like this from either side. So, eight divisions from each side. That should break through right there. How are we doing on the justification? Still a ways to go. A long ways to go, actually. Um, okay, we've actually made some progress over here in Italy now, finally. See La Specia uh, being challenged by us. Let's go ahead and add in those guys into the mix. 
and the Croatians now helping out the Austrians here on mainland Italy. Okay, let's take a double look at our stockpiles now. Tactical bombers, we only have 64 extra of those. Fighters, we still have about 337 that we could deploy eventually. Production-wise, down here, wait a second, we're making... 1.9 tactical bombers per day. 4.8 fighters per day, so that's good to see. So the Air Force now starting to strengthen up a bunch. And if we look here, looks like they're continuing to match me with some air power over here. I don't know why that's still showing as yellow. That's weird. I have 900 fighters there. 450 strategic bombers that they're seeing here now. The Western Mediterranean there, still being occupied by enemy forces. I wish we could use this airbase, but we can't. We are building up a new... Not to be worried, though, we are building up a new airbase there. It's on the constructions list. Yep. The Mid-Pyrenees there. Sweet. Looking good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content, and we'll catch you next time.